1 to 4% of your bone marrow cells are stem cells. When most of the stem cells mature, they develop into different cells that make up your blood and immune system. A small number of these stem cells are released from the marrow and into the bloodstream. They are called peripheral blood stem cells. These are the cells that are collected during a process called apheresis for donation. Like stem cells inside your bone marrow, the peripheral blood stem cells are able to make white and red blood cells along with platelets. In order to improve the number of stem cells in the bloodstream, you or a donor will receive a drug called GCSF, which stands for Granulocyte Colony Stimulating Factor. This drug will stimulate the bone marrow to increase the amount of stem cells that will enter the bloodstream. GCSF is given as an injection about four days before stem cell collection. The injection will be given on a daily basis until stem cell collection is completed. GCSF is usually given on an outpatient basis. You, a family member, or friend will be taught how to give the injection. GCSF may cause bone pain. You will receive a prescription to help manage the pain. You should also drink lots of liquids and get plenty of rest. Many times when you are your own donor, a small amount of a chemotherapy agent such as cytoxin will be given to you prior to starting GCSF. Because the chemotherapy infusion can cause nausea, you will be given medication to help stop it. You may also receive a protective drug called Mesna during the infusion. This drug works to prevent irritation, pain, or bleeding of the bladder caused by the cytoxin. When cells are collected from a related or unrelated donor, the donor will not be given chemotherapy. Your blood count will be watched closely since decreased blood counts may increase your risk of infection or bleeding within the first week following the Mesna administration. Your blood count is at its lowest, four to eight days after the drug is given. Symptoms you should report to your BMT physician include fever greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, chills, cough, or red urine. Apheresis, the collection of stem cells, will start when your blood counts are appropriate. This procedure is done on an outpatient basis. During apheresis, blood is withdrawn from your catheter and circulated through a cell separator. The stem cells are removed and the rest of the blood is returned to you. One to four days of apheresis are required to obtain an adequate number of stem cells for transplant. The process takes between four and five hours each day. Most patients have little, if any, discomfort during the procedure. Some people may experience numbness or tingling, have leg cramps, feel lightheaded, or have chills. You will be given medication to ease these discomforts. After apheresis, the stem cells are frozen and stored until the time of the transplant when they will be given to you. Cells collected from related or unrelated donors are usually collected on the day of transplant.